556. Mention a hoagie or a cheesesteak and Philadelphia knows what you're talking about. A Canadian city has a food passion all of its own. And while it's not on the scale of Pat's or Gino's yet, a city, center city merchant is betting once you taste it, you'll buy in. Our signature steak sandwich shops aren't just famous for cheese wit. They're also known for being open 24-7. Food Obsessed Montreal may be French, but it has a substantial Jewish community and their bagel shops never close. Montreal bagels aren't like American bagels. And now Center City's Spread Bagelry is bringing Canada's favorites to Philadelphia. There is a difference. There's a difference in the dough recipe. There's a little bit of sugar, a little bit of egg, a little bit of malt, so it's slightly sweet. And then we boil them in honey water, which gives it a little bit of extra sweetness on the edge of the crust, and we bake them in a wood-fired oven. Owner Larry Rosenblum did change the Montreal tradition a little. He makes his bagels bigger to suit his customers' taste, or most of them. I have one guy who lives in New Jersey who's from Montreal who calls me ahead of time because he wants me to make them smaller and skinnier, which is typical of how they bake them in Montreal. We make them a little bigger here for American taste. Spreads bagels do what any American bagel does. You can slice them, toast them, make sandwiches with them. Not surprisingly, the owner's insistence on quality extends to other menu items as well. We buy our fish from a small smokehouse in Coney Island, New York, one of the best in the country. We make our turkeys bone-in, fresh, roasted in our wood-fired oven, hand-sliced, and starting next week, we're bringing in pastrami from Katz's on the Lower East Side in New York. Fresh, cooked off here every day for lunch, hand-sliced, going to be phenomenal on a rye bagel. Love the cured meats. Oh, I'm hungry. Pastrami. That sounds really good.